hello guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to use for loop container so let's add the new package and then go to SSIS toolbox and under containers you will see for loop container let's drag that into package designer now so what is for loop container so for loop container is like for loop in any programming language it is used to iterate the task execution at given number of times and until it evaluates the expression as false so let's look into this in action now so double click on the for loop container and you see three expressions init expression means initialize expression and evaluate expression and assign expression so let's initialize expression so we should use a variable to initialize expression so let's declare a variable here variable and go to new variable and declare it as i so it iterates only the numeric number of times we have to use uh, integer to iterate it doesn't allow non-numeric iteration okay for non-numeric based iteration or file system based or any other enumerator related iterations we have to go to for each loop container instead of for loop container so for loop container is only for numeric number of iterations so let's declare i and select integer type and close it now double click on the for loop container and it initialize so we have to use at the rate i for variable okay and then i would like to initialize this as equal to one so if you want to initialize a variable like at the rate i with another variable like at the rate j with some value then you can use at the rate i equal to at the rate j but here i want to use a static number one for initialization so i want to iterate this process till it has 10 times okay 10 less than or equal to 10 and then i want to for every iteration i want to increment that i value at plus one i'm sorry so it it so this task iterates the process the task execution at for 10 times so it initializes the variable with one that means it starts the execution with one and then it iterates one plus one one plus two one plus three in that way and until it reach the variable reach 10 so let's click on ok and now let's execute it so executed successfully so in order to see the value whether it is changing or not you can use breakpoints and you can use watch tab to view the result of the variable okay so in order to use that let's go to SSIS toolbox and drag any task to the for each loop con for loop container so let me use for expression task to evaluate so expression task open expression task and just use anything it's actually not uh, only it's only for evaluation purpose it's uh, the purpose is to iterate the process and uh, just to break the process to see the value is changing or not just to just to show you whether the value is changing or not i am using this expression ta task okay let's uh, edit breakpoints and break when the container receives the on pre-execute event so it means it breaks when it receives pre-execution event so in order to see this value at runtime we have to use watch window okay we can see that at runtime so let's execute this now 
so you see all the different explorers we have so we have watch tab as well so now let's click on watch and let's uh, use i here user i and now it is showing one right so and it's uh, still executing now the cursor is at expression task so it's waiting for our input so in order to go ahead with the next step we have to click on the continue here in, in the mouse pointer so let's let's click on that now let's go to watch again and let's stick it so it's showing two and then click again now it is showing three four five six seven eight nine ten now it breaks yes completed so package execution completed with success so this is how it works and this is how we actually troubleshoot debug the functionality of SSIS package within any for loop container or for each loop containers or any other workflow control flow task okay now let's stop it now let's disable the breakpoints and click ok now start again so it executes without any break so this is how we use for each loop content for loop container I'm sorry so the task that I've used with in the for loop container is expression task here in real time we actually use execute SQL task uh, to update uh, at some for, a, a, for every row number or, or for any other scenarios like this we can use any all the tasks any kind of task that related to our uh, work our task okay based on our use case scenario we can loop through the tasks any kind of different types of control flow task within for each loop container for loop container so you can iterate data flow task iteration or you can use uh, file system task iteration based on this for loop container okay that is that makes sense if you have any questions please comment in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible thanks for watching my video if you like please subscribe to encourage me to do more videos like this thank you